If we don't stop Thrawn, everything will be in vain. You and I both know who could help you with this. She's still just as stubborn as ever. After five days on Disney+, 863,000 U.S. households watched Ahsoka Season 1 Episode 8 Part 8, The Jedi, The Witch, and The Warlord, according to Screen Rant. This puts the Ahsoka finale between the finals of The Mandalorian Season 3 and Ender Season 1, which were watched by 1.5 million and 591,000 U.S. households, respectively. This indicates that while Ahsoka's viewership surpassed that of Andor by 46%, it lagged behind The Mandalorian Season 3 by 42%. Ahsoka, which follows former Jedi Padawan Ahsoka Tano, Rosario Dawson, as she looks into a new threat to the galaxy after the fall of the Empire, is set in the same era as The Mandalorian and The Book of Boba Fett, with several characters making their live-action debuts, including Natasha Leobordizo as Sabine Wren, Mary Elizabeth Winstead as Hera Syndulla, and Iman as Fandi as Ezra Bridger, the Disney Plus series serves as a spiritual fifth season of the animated series Star Wars Rebels. Grand Admiral Thrawn is once again portrayed by Lars Mikkelsen, who voiced the character in Star Wars Rebels, Hayden Christensen as Anakin Skywalker, Genevieve O'Reilly as Mon Mothma, Ray Stevenson as Balin Skull, Ivana Sakno as Shin Hadi, Diana Lee Inosanto as Morgan Elspeth, and Evan Witten as Jason Sindola are among the other actors who feature in Ahsoka. Ahsoka's second season renewal on Disney Plus has allegedly been discussed, but as of right now, no formal announcement has been made. The Hollywood Reporter reported back in April 2023 that the success of the first season of Ahsoka will determine whether or not a second season would be produced. Fans first discovered Disney was internally listing the Star Wars series with a season one. Marker during Disney's Q1 earnings release in February 2023, which gave rise to rumors about a second season of Ahsoka. Fans had thought Ahsoka would be a limited series, a la the Book of Boba Fett, up until that moment. A lot of fans of the franchise also think that Dave Filoni's next Star Wars film, which is supposed to be based on the Star Wars Legends book Heir to the Empire, would wrap up Ahsoka's unresolved storylines. The film will operate as a climactic crossover for The Mandalorian, the Book of Boba Fett and Ahsoka. It was revealed at Star Wars Celebration 2023. The New Republic fights Grand Admiral Thrawn and Heir to the Empire in order to prevent him from bringing the Empire back to life.